two of this video, um, we left off at completing all of these uh, these six views. So we have our four elevations, uh, we have our isometric view, and we have our exploded isometric view. And um, so the last thing that we're going to do um, in this video is that we're going to actually do a section cut of our house. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And let's move it um, a little bit further away. We'll go to zoom selected. Now a section cut is important because uh, you know, it can just show um, kind of in terms of section how the space is organized. So the way that we're going to do this is by using a clipping plane. So how we're going to do this is um, let's make a new layer first. So let's create a new layer. We're going to call this layer a uh, clipping plane. And let's make it uh, red, uh, red color. And we're going to go to that layer. So now just type in clipping plane into the command box and you'll see it right over here. It's going to give you a few options. It's going to give you a three point. Uh, we're going to do vertical because you want it to be a sectional um, elevation. And we'll make our clipping plane. So this is your clipping plane. Um, what's useful about this is that it can be oriented in any way. So you can actually start to rotate this clipping plane. So you can actually do different types of sectional cuts or different types of elevations. Um, so that's kind of nice. and. Um, it's also useful in terms of uh, how it actually works. So you can actually use multiple ones. So let's say we copy and paste this. We can actually have uh, two clipping planes. So we can actually have uh, multiple clipping planes as well. But let's do one for now. So let's go to our clipping plane and let's rotate our view. Um, let's rotate it this way. And it's it's recommended to keep it parallel to the stairs uh, because that's usually where it shows uh, the most amount of information. And you can see that this this view in particular is, is quite effective. You can see the staircase, you can see you know the ground condition, you know the first level condition, you can see those partition walls as well. So I think that this view is, is, is quite nice. Um, so we're gonna pick our view. Let's just make sure that we have it however far we need it. So I think this is a uh, this is good. So now that we have this view, um, we can see that the clipping plane is still in our uh, perspective view. So we want to try and hide that. So there's two ways that we can hide this. Um, the first is just by typing in hide. So you can actually hide that clipping plane. Another option is um, another option is if you actually go to this layer, you can go to a different layer. Let's say we go to our default layer, and we can actually turn off uh, the light bulb. So it's hidden again. So there's two ways to hide it just so that we have a more clean drawing. So now that we have it ready, let's uh, zoom in. Uh, we'll go to the view that we want. And uh, we're going to select everything. And we're going to type in make 2D. OK. Now let's go back to our top view. And we can see that um, yeah, it translated pretty correctly. The one thing that the make 2D command um, slightly mis mis uh, messed up on was that it made these walls hollow. So we want to make sure that these walls are uh, completely um, open. So let's go ahead and trim every everything that is hollow. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these lines that are unnecessary. So we're just kind of cleaning up uh, anything that's not needed. So that way we can make sure that our section cut is very clean. Uh, wherever we see any kind of overlapping lines, we get rid of them. And same thing like before I mentioned, uh, just get rid of any lines that you don't think belong. Um, and that's kind of what we're doing right now. So after cleaning up all of those lines, uh, we can see that it becomes one entire section. Um, the staircases, everything kind of matches correctly. So there we go. We have um, all of our elevations. Uh, we have our section cut. We have our isometric and we have our exploded isometric. And the next step would just be exporting these. And if you look back at uh, previous videos, there's different ways to export it. Uh, you can do a quick export, uh, which might be faster. What I also recommend is making sure your line, tape, uh, line types are correct. Um, so always go back in and you can actually make a, a new line type. For example, if you want a hidden line, um, you can actually turn all of these projection lines in your drawing and you can actually make them uh, hidden lines, so dash lines. 
So just go back in there and you know edit all your line types. Uh, like those previous videos, uh, we have um, the line type options over there as well. Um, if you look right over here, you can actually edit your line type, edit your print width, and edit the color of it. So make sure that everything you know follows um, with design standards and make sure that everything is exported correctly. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. We just pretty much uh, took a 3D model and we generated all of these views um, in less than about you know 15 minutes um, just by using that model. Um, so that's it.